First vlog, welcome to my home. This is one of my homes. You see, that's the luxury about being homeless, is you can have more than one home. Currently, I have about, I'd say four or five houses. One of them's in a parking garage, three of them are ditches just like this. Um, and the other one is actually like an abandoned car that I found in the parking garage that people leave open. Um, other than that, I stay in hotels. Um, I pretty live, I, I live pretty comfortably. I stay pretty clean. I'm not your normal homeless person. Obviously, I have changed into clothes. I wear shorts for work. Um, I wash. I, I usually always wear clean clothes. When I sleep out here, I have a mat. I carry around my survival pack, which obviously has clean clothes, my pack, hygiene stuff. Uh, I got weapons. Here's my iPad pack. Uh, in here, I carry my wallet, digital camera. Now you're gonna say, obviously this dude's homeless and Vato's over here with all this expensive equipment. Believe it or not, all this stuff was pawned. I take it in and out of the pawn shop to stay in hotel rooms all the time. This is the second iPad as I've already been robbed once. Uh, I'm gonna show you all clips and stuff. It's, it's been a pretty long time I've been homeless already. I lost my apartment in my own place. <clears throat> I lost my own place about two years ago. Since then I lived with a couple um, which was a cop, it was a military couple. That's a whole another story in itself, which y'all are gonna get to hear about. And then I lived with a, a friend of mine here from San Antonio, Phil, uh, who's a tattoo artist. And basically something happened there. Um, I got fired from a job and it was kind of somebody else's fault. I got mad. There were some things in that household I didn't like. So I ended up having to leave and I hit the streets. Um, I didn't tell any of my friends, any of my family. So my mom thinks that I'm staying with friends on the couch, you know, paying rent for a room and just basically finding work. Um, she knows I'm really, she knows I keep my head clean and, 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 I mean, I'm lying to her. She obviously doesn't know shit. I shouldn't even, I don't even know why I'm talking like that. Uh, most of my friends, I just don't have money to hang out with them, so I don't see them anymore. My friends in Austin, I only see them about, I saw them once in the last year, and I, that was for New Year's. I'll show you all some clips of that. Uh, my friends here in San Antonio really don't have any. Most of my friends work for me or were part of my companies. And when everything hit the fan, believe it or not, everybody bounced. So the way I ended up here, it's simple. My company went under because my business partner, who was my partner at the time, you know, my actual partner, uh, I've had business with both of my ex-wife and with the girlfriends after that. But, the wedding wasn't done, I was held responsible as a partner, and she disappeared, and I was left with freaking muleta. If you don't know what muleta means, it means the, basically the mess. I had to put on 90 weddings in a matter of a year, all with about $80, and just semi-experienced and decorated. So I became a florist, a decorator, a PR, I know how to throw parties, I know how to make cakes, I know how to make bouquets. I know how to run an entire event company, I can do a wedding of 5000 all the way to a wedding of... 500. I've done weddings that cost $500. I've done weddings that cost $50,000. So at one point, I had about, I mean, I was I was being successful. I had another company that does advertising, which is my job now. And I do work everybody. For those of you that are going to judge, I do have a job. I just got off my job. I pass out flyers for a housekeeping company here in town. So with all that said, I don't want to, I don't want to just blabber on about me for the whole vlog for today my first vlog. I've been videotaping myself for over a year and a half already. I have all the footage. Y'all are going to get to see it. This is basically going to be about my come up. Um, I'm a really motivated person and even though I'm in a ditch right now, uh, you know, I, I've, you can see back here, this is mine. This is Ouch. This is my brand. That's my logo. And this is my company. I'm going to show you all how I can literally go from this ditch to creating this product. You're, you'll be actually able to hold it in your hand. And work. There'll be clothing, there'll be an app, there's going to be a website, a magazine, maybe even a children's game. Shit. The thing is, is I've gone through a lot. A lot of pain, a lot of loss. And I've, I've really had to find myself in, in the last couple of the last couple months, years. Um, one of the things that's gotten me through this time is art. Uh, art in every fashion, music. Uh, my artistic side came back out. I had picked up a pencil and about 
12, 13 years, and I'm a really good artist. I'm teaching myself how to tattoo along with taking classes from some professionals that are helping me with this project. Um, the goal is, this brand is a celebration of tattoos, art, music, adventure, and everything that hurts in a good way. That's the best way I can put it. And that might be my mission statement right there. Celebrate tattoos, art, music, adventure, and everything that hurts in a good way. You know, a lot of our passions take a lot from us. Uh, some, it's a sacrifice physically, some mentally. The hours we put in takes away from our families and our lives, you know, just because of our passions. I've invested a lot of my money into this brand, into what I'm doing. I'm obviously homeless for a reason. I'm having business cards made right now instead of eating at Olive Garden. I'm going to have to eat a triple cheeseburger and drink water with it. But, you know, I'm going to get some pamphlets and I'm going to leave them at a tattoo shop and it's going to ask people to share their tattoos with me and like my business page. There's a method to the madness and believe it or not, there's sacrifices that have to be done to get out of the hole. And I'm, I'm going to take you all along for the ride. My life's pretty adventurous. It involves a lot of women, a lot of chaos, a lot of kids. A girlfriend that I'm trying to marry and I'm trying to I'm trying to be faithful to and everything, but yet I can't live with her because of her family. Obviously nobody likes the person who's hanging around and being with a homeless person. So that's the problem with that. My family doesn't know I'm homeless. My friends don't know I'm homeless. So I keep it to myself. We're trying to get an apartment, me and me and uh, me and this girl. Her name's Rebecca. You guys will meet her a little later. And, uh, hopefully I'm not gonna be homeless for too long. So other than that, I go to work, I go to the library, I make this magazine, I meet with creative people around San Antonio and Austin, people who wanna share their, their passion and their pain that they're going through with the art that they create, whether it be dance, belly dance, tattooing, art, painting, sculpting, collections, it's everything. Art is such a broad, broad subject. There's so many things in art that people, people do. And I wanna celebrate them all. I want to create a publication that celebrates that. I want it to be free. I want it to be good for the community. I want it to create jobs. And I want to get back to being a businessman. That is what I'm really good at. Uh, I'm doing a really good job doing the advertising for this company right now. I do a bunch of other websites and stuff like that. Now keep in mind, none of my clients know I'm homeless. So if my employer watches this, I don't know how they're going to feel about me being homeless. But I do show up with my pack in my backpack. You guys are going to see me with my pack. It's freaking ridiculous. So I'd rather pull it apart and I'm going to do a whole video on survival pack and what I travel with because I know some of you will be interested. But let me leave you with that. I created a brand and here's the logo. Obviously the curtains in the Alamo represent a stage in the city and, and if you see right there that um Those initials ZAP, I had a business partner at one point. His name was Zane Clemens, Zane Alejandro Clemens, and he got kidnapped by the cartels in Mexico, which I have some familiarity with, and, and I have some family experience with that, and I'm, I'm from Chihuahua and Juarez, and I, I was born you know, and raised in a border town of El Paso, so I know a lot about this. That's a whole other story I can't handle to tell you guys about right now. But Zane, I hope you're out there, and if you are,